And are we ready? Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Good for you. Wow. What you got? Sprite. It's a little Sprite. <sighs> You'd never know. He's drinking a fucking <laughs> new Coca-Cola. Hello <laughs> and welcome. It's hard lore time. It's hard lore time. What's up, Bo? Not much, my man. Just, uh, you know, living. That's cool, man. We got a guest today. It's, Who do we got? This is the funniest guest yet, easily. <laughs> What the, why am I funny? <laughs> you're, I'm funny. You're like a clown. You amuse me. Mm. Uh, welcome, my brother and musician, savant, recording studio engineer, mm. uh, album maker, taste maker, Max Drum, and Cheese maker, drummer, drummer Tay's Tuna Surprise maker. Mac Everybody welcome maker Taylor Young. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We finally got Taylor on the show. This is going to be this this episode. I'm I'm really curious what this is going to be like because Taylor's like historically like an anti public speaker. Mm. I feel like when Taylor's interviewed, it's like, so Taylor, tell us about your process with this, and he's like, um, yes, I thought it was sick, so <laughs> I, I made it even sicker. First of all, my microphone sounds better than that, so well, you're wrong. We'll see how I mix it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, That'd be just, nice. You're just gonna make me sound like this the whole time. That's right, Taylor. I first met you, like really met you on our on that your first European tour. Mm. How about that? What a wonderful trip! What <laughs> that was when Europe. Ago. That's when Europe was fun. Years. Yeah, that was I, like a that was like oh wow, Europe is cool. Yeah, yeah, it was like exciting. Yeah, that was yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. The I remember the the setup being that like the adults went in the rise and fall van and then mm -hmm. the rest of us were in the other van. Remember mm -hmm. that? That there was the children van, <laughs> yeah. the kids. So table. who was in the children van? Just harms way and not. Taylor and John. Saba. And John, well, yeah. and John, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Saba. Hey. I can't. Saba is like a crossover. I can't remember mm. what what he was doing at what time. He would sometimes go in the adult van just to like sleep or something because they had a better loft. You know, whatever. But then he get kicked out. But it's funny to think. And there's going to be a picture inserted here of you and I just standing on the ferry. You're wow, like that, what a, what a picture can you, that was. Can't believe I can, it, right? I can honestly literature. picture it, even though I'll, I'll see it in post. Taylor's, <laughs> Taylor's uh, legendary Sepultura hockey jersey that was like his winter coat for like <laughs> years. On that tour, it legitimately was. <laughs> yeah. Well, you had like a you had like a tan trench coat at one time too that you got <laughs> all the time. Tan. No, I think you no. It's like green, green trench coat. I think. Oh, I favorite. remember that. That's my favorite coat. I still wear it all the time. <laughs> See, Taylor yeah. goat. Taylor's signature fit in inclement <laughs> weather is tan trench coat. No, it's green. Green trench coat, <laughs> flying shirt, Adidas yes. track pants. Correct. That's if you were a Simpsons character, that would be your. I'm actually wearing pants, like pants, pants. Good for you right man. now. You knew you'd be on camera. Thanks for cleaning the studio for us. I didn't. That's just shit all over the table. I thought you did that. Um, that's that's my room. That's, that's where I sleep, everybody. I did take the drill. Oh, good. Well, no, you can leave that up there. We'll get the Ryobi the money. I'll put the drill back. <laughs> we need that is, Ryobi is, money. Is Andrew there still? No, he just flew to Chicago <sighs> yesterday. Fuck. Imagine if we could have had Andrew on. I, I'm honestly hey, devastated. Yeah. Andrew Morrissey was just in town. The guy we talk, we owe him royalties uh, uh, for how much we talk about him on the same show. He told me he listens to every episode, so so he'll You're hear in this. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, was there a, was there a misquote while he was here briefly? Yes, uh, not while you were here, uh, but he called um, momentum <laughs> monuments. <laughs> oh my God. He's fucking unbelievable. Mm. We gotta have just, him. On. Him and Kale. Him and Kale should yeah. co-headline the series finale. Yeah. <laughs> the series finale. <laughs> season one. Really season right. one finale. Oh, you, can you guys hear that? Damn, dude. dude. He's going cats, off. Are your cats he? not fixed? No, oh, they're fixed. You got they more just, than one? I got two. Yeah. I got two. They fucking each other. Gotta, Taylor, you doing some touring lately? <laughs> no. More than you. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> It's, yeah. funny, it's funny to think like like a a touring themed podcast episode from Taylor where I'm like, you got any good like what what what's your what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Because I was probably there and it was probably like, 
Yeah, we're just going to reiterate shit you've already talked about. Well, it's just that, you know, we've been on every tour together. There's We've toured more together than we have separately. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Are there, are there any th- episodes that you've listened to if you've listened to the show at all? I don't expect you to. Um, I listen to you. It. Relax. But <laughs> I wonder, are there anything that comes to mind first where you're like, I can't believe he didn't talk about that? Mm-hmm. No, you got it all. You just you always fuck up dates and things. No, I'm a thousand percent right until mm. I'm wrong. Unless mm-hmm. I'm wrong. Mm. So no. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I I thought you're the one who's supposed to make up the plan for the no, show. No plan. Yeah. This is completely. Yeah, we wing it. The structure okay. is that it's unstructured. I guess we could, let's talk about your drive through anxiety because people were really into that one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I don't want to. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to remember all your orders just eat a bunch of burgers and shut up no let's i'm gonna get you, don't, you fired you don't here. have to get exactly what you want yes, at two in the morning at mcdonald's while we're on the way to the hotel no. you don't need no lettuce on the way to the hotel i don't get no lettuce so what i'm saying is uh, can i just order 10 hamburgers and 10 f- and five fries for everybody no i can't because everybody in the van is picky <laughs> thank you no well here's the here's the real trick and you're not thinking about you're not thinking ahead like I'm six moves ahead. OK. I was six moves ahead at the important parts of the day with the show. Oh, well, that's and the not che- what and all I'm the other focused stuff. on. So I don't really care about the McDonald's. I'm hungry. And so what you do is you order. And, and I get that this is a sacrifice for a lot of people because they're big cheese heads. But when you get a McDonald's burger with no cheese, you know, it's fresh. That's called a hamburger. Oh, well, I know. Why? Why is that? Because the ones with cheese been sitting there, brother. They got a supply because everybody wants the cheeseburger. The Big Mac with cheese is sitting there. Well, what? the Big Mac at two a.m. has a hard bun anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Wait a minute, wait. You're telling me that they don't put a piece of cheese on the meat and then you you think that they all come with the cheese on it? They all come with the cheese on it, one hundred percent. No, it's a different it's a different packaging. The cheeseburgers have the yellow packaging. Hamburgers have the gray packaging. That is true, but I, I mean, it's not. It's but that's not, just how they wrap it's it. It's not a safe method it's, if you're going double hamburger. I don't think that's true. You're incorrect. The Big Mac comes cheesed, and, no and shit. don't you dare. Yeah, that, well, that's because they just have Big Macs ready to go. But if you order anything a little different, then yes, they're making it for you right there. When you make an alteration, it's fresh. Except the fries might still be cold. I don't think, I mean, you can watch, it's an assembly line. They put it all together on the fly. Oh, at night, I'm telling you. Man, there's a 24-hour McDonald's at, across the street from me. That uh, there's a Big Mac hours. there right now ready to eat. We're, we're talking Lawrence, Kansas, though, not yeah, Chicago, yeah. Illinois. Lawrence, we're talking, Kansas. Fucking the, the third biggest McDonald's in the world, which you probably live next to. I wish I did. Um, Where the 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 fro the fucking ice cream machine is broken at eight p.m. not yeah. midnight. <laughs> That's got to be. We got to do something about that. Nothing can be done. I might have to intervene. Ronald Ronald <laughs> doesn't have a say. I need Ronald on the phone. Ronald's need- gone. Ronald has been erased from history. Is that he true? Got canceled. I can't. When when was the last time you sat on a bench with Ronald? It's been a minute. I saw one. In Texas, I think, mm. which that McDonald's was also closed. Yeah. Or because they didn't have enough employees. Yeah. It says no one won't inside. work in a Southern accent on a little note. Mm. I wasn't allowed door. to go in and go to the bathroom at 4 p.m. Did I tell my uh, my McDonald's Christmas bonus story? I can't remember. Is no. it better than Subway? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so it's different. It's different. I didn't tell the story. OK, great. I had just moved into this apartment. It was 2013. My roommate at the time went home. I was single. My mom lived in Texas and my dad and I like weren't talking. It was, and it was Christmas. So I was just like kind of bummed, kind of down on myself sitting in, um, in my living room, like watching home alone and stuff and like trying to make the best of it. But you know, lonely kind of a thing. And I was like, well, everything's closed. I don't have any food. I'm going to, I'm going to order a fucking feast from McDonald's because it was the mm. only thing open. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. You know, when you, yeah. So whatever. So I walked, walked through the snow. It was like a typical, like a movie esque uh, Christmas day. And just sad bow. Just, you know, 
And uh, I get there, I order my food, and I notice that the ladies who are working the registers were, like, crying. Like, all of them. They're all crying, crying. Like, sobbing and trying to, like, keep it under wraps. And I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck's Happy tears or sad tears? So, when I, like, went to get my food, I, like, looked at this thing that they were holding. And they were all holding, like, like a normal piece of paper, like, um, Christmas bonuses. Mm. And they were $25. And they were happy. So the point of the story is it immediately snapped me out of like my own self-pity bullshit and immediately was like, hey, you could be working at McDonald's on Christmas and being like really relieved over $25, which you're very fortunate to not be stressing over. And that's straight up like a a thing that I think about when I start to get like (laughs) from time to time. Mm. You remember the $25 McDonald's Christmas bonus and you, you appreciate, I mean, that might as well be the jelly of the month club. Yeah. You know? all, Clark, that's the $25. Keeps on giving all year long. <laughs> all year. It doesn't. It's <laughs> one, one month. What is it? It's one month, right? That he gets, or is it like three months or something? Maybe he got him a year. Maybe it was a really maybe, good bonus. Maybe he got a year. It was a year. I mean, not. Jelly of the month. You Where, just get a, you get a new jelly. How would you guys uh, rank Christmas the, vacation. the vacation movies? The the four Christmas the four Christmas Christmas One, Vegas. But it's like but it's Europe. like Christmas Vegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, I think there's I think one is better than Vegas. I, I I'm not I'm not I'm not rushing to put on OG Vacation. You know. No. Or That's true. I did watch Vegas the other day and just didn't even consider the first one. It's on. It's on Netflix right now. Yeah. Vegas is. I, I think that's why I watched eight it eight times a week. So you can just turn on TNT. I love Vegas Vacation. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Uh, Christmas. I would say, you know, since Taylor's on the show, Home Alone, and you, you, I mean, Bo, you're a big Home Alone guy. We talk about it all the time. This is Chicago. When, this is oh, it. You have to be. This is a. This is the house that Kevin built, right? Yeah. Here. Uh-huh. These, these three guys, mm. dude. I mean, one of my happiest tour memories is twitching in harm's way at Sabo's watching Home Alone. Remember that? I, not even a little bit. Really? We. It was like his 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 mom's like nice townhome. Taylor and I. We slept in the same bed in the basement. At Sabos, yeah, we were there for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, it was a little while. Tell me, I was there too. We got Angelos. It was fucking dope. Couldn't tell you. Uh, <laughs> was 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 Kale on that tour? Yeah. Okay, then yes, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you oh. have any? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now Sabo's you remember. His neighbor like tried to like fight him. He like got, came in all hot. Remember that? I think I stayed at Saba's house down the street while you guys me. stayed there. We split up. Oh, I was at Saba's mom. Saba's mom. Yeah. Why would you do that? I, I there. I remember there being. It was like a, a room, uh, an issue of uh, of fitting us all. Oh, weird. I wonder how fun this is for the listeners. Just be like, well, I stayed here. <laughs> no, no, and, no, and, no, no. And I was here. You were there. Yeah. Do you have any uh, kale stories, Taylor? That. N- not that I should tell on air. Yeah. Right. One day, <laughs> Kale's gonna come on here and he's gonna speak his truth, and <laughs> and it, I I I hope it ends well for him. You know, like I hope that I hope that people understand Kale a little more that day. I, I hung out with him not that long ago when I had had the best time. Really? Would you he came funny, into, he came and did some gang is like, vocals. It's another level. Yeah. He he was the life of the of the session because oh. we were just doing gang vocals and he was. Goofing. Did he do his voice? The thing? Which, what the thing? Oh. thing? No, no. Dude, he didn't do he, that, but I thought about if it. He does this like burp voice thing that legit <laughs> sounds like this. It's, like, 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 yeah. it's scarier than that. That's not a fair uh, comparison. It's true. It's straight up like, like if, if like Corpse Grinder <laughs> did this, so funny, it would sound like Kale's crazy thing it's a demon voice it's badass it is it's crazy <laughs> new things learned about kale mm. yeah see some he's got special skills i had no idea he's he loves the western bacon 
cheese from Carl's Jr. Mm, mm. Can't believe Carl's. He's a Carl because he lives across the street from one his whole life. Mm. I'm not Carl, a Carl's guy personally. You got Hardee's I'll, there or Carl's? I'll, no, Carl's. we don't have either. So <laughs> it's like a it's a, a road thing for sure. Which like I'll eat it. If if that's the only thing, I'll certainly eat it before Subway or you know whatever all the shit we always talk about. But uh, it's not my it's not a go to for me. It's a really good desperation meal. Yeah, they got tater tots, right? They got tater tots. Uh, no, no, but I, think, I so. think they have uh, curly fries. You got a waffle fry. Mm. Oh, it's mm. a waffle fry. That's what it's it a is. Waffle fry. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor, you've been touring a long time. Mm. I think you were 17 playing in crematorium, right? Mm-hmm. I distinctly remember being 14 or so watching you do that and Dan Dismal on stage saying, he's fucking 17. <laughs> I don't think I did that. That's, this is an embellishment. I didn't do that. There is a video of uh, one of the shows on the Vital Remains tour of Glenn Benton throwing bread at us uh, after he trashed the backstage by himself uh, and then blamed it on us, but you, even though we were on stage. He is a rascal. He, he just actually got bl- up. He, bl- re- he blamed us. T- like, the promoter came in pissed because he actually trashed the backstage and tried to pin it on us, even though there's literal video evidence. I like to think he was sitting there, like, giggling, doing it. Like, <laughs> Honestly, maybe. I, uh... I got I got a, a friend of mine. Fall Out Boy was playing. This is like back when Fall Out Boy would play like venues and not like arenas. Mm. So like before they really really broke, they were playing the the Eagles whatever in Milwaukee at the rave like the big room, and in the basement, Deicide was playing mm. at the same time. So like my friend who would go out with um, Fall Out Boy and stuff went down to watch Deicide, and before they were like starting, Glenn Benton was just like at the bar like openly sobbing because he had gotten a divorce that day. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet it they was, played the gnarliest fucking set of all time. Just the, the craziest set. It was his, once upon the cross three times in a row. His wife is who I bonded with the most maybe on that tour. Wow. Because oh I would sit and do merch while I read the last Harry Potter book. Oh, shit. Because I was still in high school. And Dude, uh, she, would just, she would read her like romantic novel while she did merch. Sexy. When uh, when we first met on that European tour, James was like, "Yeah, I heard that dude drummed for Crematorium, but how? He's like so young. Like that can't be true. Like we like James was like dumbfounded. By it confuses it confused uh, people locally too. They because yeah. they think they thought Taylor was a lot older for a long time. Mm. But he yeah. just found you, right, Taylor?" Uh, sort of. I he would promote shows, so I uh, wanted to get into those shows for free, and so I would like sweep the floors after, and mm. and I and he basically I hit him up and just offered to do that, and he was he was down. He was always cool about stuff like that because he likes supporting the scene. Sure, you were like, uh, hey, hey, um, I, I'm, I'm free, free to, to sweep, sweep the, the floors, floors and like I actually <laughs> play drums too if you need someone. Like, no, he's uh, they he saw one round left play. Oh, and, so he and, saw and, and, and one one and round left had random that. blast beats. And that double, is true. Double bass. So he was like, "Uh, you want to fill in for us because our drummer actually doesn't play our songs live." You were an early purveyor of putting blast beats in hardcore songs when they absolutely had no business being in there, and now look, <laughs> it's a thing now. That's the direction of the genre. Well, what what's everything should be more than it was before. Mm. What stamped? A quote. Stamped. Wow. Trademark. Mm-hmm. It's it's uh, technically on our show, so you can't keep it. <laughs> I've <laughs> never said that before. Yeah, but I said it doesn't matter. Well, we're gonna not. we're gonna put it on a shirt and give you one. There you go. Okay. Well, everything comes from somewhere. I'm that put it on one a shirt. Somewhere. I'll give you one. Speaking of speaking of shows happening. This one's gnarly. The show is happening, and then another show happening in the same venue. Yeah, I got one Taylor, of those too. Taylor, this is going to come to mind right away. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> Tongue's Turnstile. We're playing San Antonio. Upstairs in the big room, Kai Lessa was playing. Mm. 
Mm. Their green room was in our part of the venue. So it was like they had to, and we didn't technically have one, even though it was like attached to our stage in the venue. Oh, I see. So uh, Mike Cesario, who played drums at the time, I was like, Mike, get completely naked. And he didn't ask anything. He just started. He just did. <laughs> and <laughs> he's a trooper there. And so and I, I had my leather jacket and I put like a ski mask on and I like walked him like a dog. And we sent Kylesa a picture of, and we were like, "Hey guys, if we, if we heard this is your green room, but like, we're a little busy in here." Or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then essentially they responded, and we're just like, "You can keep it, kids." Like just, and they were just making snarky like adult comments. Yeah, yeah. And our show was sold out, and theirs wasn't. Oh. <laughs> One time, um, in, I think it was still in Illinois, but almost like Iowa, so like way west. Um, so maybe one of the, yeah, it was quad cities, uh, but one of the ones in Illinois, there was a, sh- uh, like a fest in harm's way. It was like harm's way and expire like headline. It was that mm-hmm. long ago. And you know, uh, we, the show was like hot dog style, right? So it's like a long rectangle room and we were at the end of the long part and then the long, you know, like you, like you would think. And then a band was setting up during our set hamburger style. So like <laughs> facing people's shoulders, you know? Yeah. And like setting up because there was like an after show. It was like a, a punk, like a punk show. Mm-hmm. And dude, this is remembering all these parts. So it was literally like, thanks for harm's way. What the fuck? And they just like started playing like immediately, which is no line check or nothing. It was like a punk band. Oh, okay. So it was kind of a cool, you know. So you didn't headline. But they o- were opening the after show. Oh. It was the after show. Well, everyone left because it was a oh. hard it went from hardcore to some punk band. But they start playing immediately. And the singer starts swinging the mic like this and hitting people who are like they were watching us and now like poof, like getting hit <laughs> from the side. Hamburger and style. Yes. Yeah. Hamburger style. And it's <laughs> fucking crazy. Someone like gets shoved onto our merch table and it breaks. And I've never seen James like that, like openly aggressively angry before. Mm-hmm. Like he just like walked to the singer. It was very scary. And then this dude, Justin uh, from Milwaukee, just <laughs> went behind all their amps and just unplugged everything. Wow just unplugged everything, unplugged the PA, unplugged every single thing. And then like people like forcibly stopped the band from continuing. What? Everyone, everyone was leaving and was like, what the fuck was that? And you just heard the guitar. One of the guitar players went, that was a bad idea. (laughs) (laughs) That was the show. Who let that happen? I have no idea. The only person set up besides like my band who I know can vouch for that is uh Tay Su from from Illinois who, who huh. does like um the rumble and stuff and, and books shows. Wow. She was there. She booked our first Chicago show. There you go. There you go. You remember She's that one, the, Taylor? She did? She booked that in Mao's basement. Oh yeah. Definitely. Oh shit. She definitely did. That was a great show. That was a great show. That I was had... what made us decide to come back to Chicago regularly. Yeah, it's true. Taylor, we talked briefly uh about how I fell asleep that one time. Mm. You remember that? Uh, the the sleep talk? No. no. When he slept through his alarm and us calling him trying to stay there. Ah. Uh, what a mm. fucking, <laughs> fucking piece of shit, huh? Mm. Yeah, that happened. Uh, uh, it's okay. I've forgiven you. You don't need to bring it up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally 10 years ago. I've had dreams that it happens again. I haven't slept since. <laughs> what did so we do? We just dream. got a hotel by the airport and then got, got pizza ho- the next morning. We got okay. Here's we got a hotel nowhere near Bo's apartment or Correct. the venue. Uh, <laughs> Correct. We went dude, to the one, airport because one, you can't you can't yeah. stay anywhere outside the airport in a right. in a big city. Yeah, yeah. no way. That's how you're getting robbed. Yeah, and the thing that's weird about Chicago is like there's no like hotels like in the city unless you're like downtown and it's like the Drake or like something really nice. There's no parking. And there's, there. yeah, there's no park. Like it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Taylor, do you like touring with me? 
brother. <laughs> yeah. Except for at 2 a.m. after the show at the McDonald's drive thru. That's the worst miss, part. Man? Do, you, do you guys miss touring? I miss. Oh, no, baby. I miss 20, 20% of touring. Yeah. I miss the good stuff. Just so happens that the bad stuff is the 80%. I mean, Sorry. that's the thing. Like, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. is, like, pretty sick. Yeah. You know, merch is set up. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. We sold a lot. That's the day. That's the... No, I I'm wouldn't saying, even say that. because the day I, where you're, like, touring. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get the anxiety before the set. So, mm-hmm. for two hours before the set, I'm not having a good time because I'm thinking about playing the set. And then I play the set. Two seconds in, I start to have a good time. And then the stress has left my body after. Oh. It's, I mean, and but I don't an, show I'm a, that. I'm an really anxious. Don't. Yeah, I'm a silently anxious person. But I mean, that's why when Disgrace would play, I would throw up every, every time, time we played. It was awesome because my beforehand, I'd be so riddled with anxiety that my mouth would dry up. Are you gonna find? So I, do you know of a video where you're throwing up? You could look at any of them. It's dude, but you could make you, a compilation. I've seen Disgrace play. I never noticed. Oh, you. then you yeah, because I just I just turn into obituary vocals for a second. It's like, you, and it, then it but I push. Cool. I I always pushed through. It. I never stopped to puke. Um, and it was terrible. But then that was like the hump <laughs> I had to get over in the middle of the set because after that would happen, I would feel better. Mm. Like oh, there there it was. Dude, Here Disgrace we go. was so sick. Once you, I enjoyed once you it. I enjoyed that, it. After that moment, every time. If you watch a live video, it's straight up like it's like I defense of the (laughs) (laughs) bolt. That's that's honestly happened in that moment of that song multiple times. And it, it, but the thing is, like, I bet the listener is like, "Yo, he sounded crazy there for that." Like, they're not understanding that that was you. Like, your larynx was like enclosing around. Bile. I was gagging. Well, no, so I never, nothing ever came up, but I would just literally gag on the back of my throat. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was bad. Have you, every time, every single set ever, Every right? time. That's the whole reason that we, I used a microphone when we first started playing because I needed, I felt like I needed an instrument to hide behind. Stand? Oh. Yeah, a microphone stand. Sorry, yeah. Needed a microphone to sing, but a microphone stand to hide behind. That would have been revolutionary if you were like, "I'm at, because I throw up when I sing, I'm actually going to not use a microphone. Yeah, I'm just going to yell <laughs> ceremony <laughs> style into the crowd. I usually didn't kill. stop. Sometimes I had to stop. There's actually a video from Oakland where I definitely clearly stop in the middle of a line and just don't sing it and then jump in the next one but then when uh, i jump in i'm stronger than before you remember the oakland show that that we did that was one of the best shows we ever played that was one of the that that was crazy i think a photo of that show is on the back cover or insert of our record gilman is so i've never played a bad show dude dude. it's the goat i don't know how it's possible i don't think it is anymore but they gotta fix the cap that's what it is they they brought it down to 200 cap because of covid stuff 200 in there dude Come 200 on. is not enough that's no that's that's not good there i we've played shows there with what four five something four or five I, for I, sure i i think the disgrace harm's way show was over five like around five like there was a ton of fucking people yeah it was gnarly um is I it true give, give here's, here's a bit that of show? lore that i don't know if people know about um and, and i feel like you guys would know green day Right, provided like PA and money and stuff to Gilman, even though they're banned from Gilman. Yes, uh, something like that. They have played Gilman since, though. Oh, okay. Like they they'll do like a a secret show or a party or something like that. Okay, but they like Um, it's because they like sold out. Is that they have rules in general? There's a no major label ban rule, so that's like why AFI wasn't able to play there later too. Gotcha. Yeah. Crazy. It's that's a general it's, rule. It's I, kind of, I, I respect the rule. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it, I think it's fucking dope that like Green Day still was like, well, here. Yeah. Well, it's their it's shit. Shitty, they love that. Dude. They're still a punk band, you know? Yeah. Yeah. True. They got it's a Broadway really rich, musical about. Just a really rich punk band. Being an idiot. 
So God. you got to respect that. Dude, when that song came out, my dad, my dad was like, that's nah, offensive. He's calling me an idiot. <laughs> just like, dude, you could yes. not be more on the nose, dad. Yes. It's just that's for you. That's the point. What were you saying, Taylor? I said it was just for just for Bo's dad. He's the, he's the <laughs> idiot. I don't want to be Bo's dad. Mm-hmm. You were mistaken a- for Green Day, man. Let's sell some beer. Oh, that's true, man. Mm-hmm. What happened? So for years, I got years. I got impeccable service at salsa and beer. Right, every time I went in there, I'm seated immediately. I got I got two bean dips, free soda. Sometimes they'll get. They, there was one time they brought me every app on the menu. Really? And the manager Juan, who's now my homie, shout out to Juan. He'll never hear this. I don't see him anymore. You know what would be crazy is if next time I go, he was like, "Thank you for the <laughs> shout out." Um, but this one day, he's like. You're in a you're in a band, but in a thick accent. You know you're in a band, and it was like he's not gonna do know. the accent. How does he know? And he's like, "Well, my waitress said she recognized you from Green Day." And I was just sitting there thinking, like, which one? You were yeah. also like 22. I was, I, yeah, I was. I mean, I'm. I mean, I looked a little different at that time. <laughs> yep. But uh, was this skinny, skinny Colin at that time? Yeah. This this was this was I was transitioning at the beginning of or at the at the end of skinny just yeah. at the end okay. tail end of skinny into like mid length hair like gut mm. but not full uh like oct octuple chili dog order yeah you know but I'd get there believe me but <laughs> um I never yeah left. So I I was treated like a king there and now I now the the gods hate back cover. Which is sitting in the manager's office, has cemented us our, our legacy as as salsa and beer. Is that where it is? I'm sad they haven't put it up yet. I know it's. I mean, I feel like if we weren't called God's Hate, it, it would, would be, be front and center. You could just put the back cover up. Though. You get a text, Bo. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Read it Part out me. loud. Mm-mm-mm. Read Part it. Me. Sex. Text. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Sexy pics. Several. Nice. Nice. No, no. Um, it's your check from work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bo, uh, you're on the clock at 8 a.m. every day. Why aren't you, why aren't you awake? You what do you actually do? Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, today was 1230. 12? How do you live with yourself? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Don't hate the player. You know what I mean? He's organized his life to work for himself. That's pretty Cust- dope. Like, uh, like Chase said, I customize my reality. Customize yeah. your reality. Yeah. How's In that going? Office. Amazing. I love you this like job. Love in your reality. I've had it for a year. I don't know how. What sucks is there's definitely a coworker who watches this. So, hey. Huh. <laughs> Whoops. It's well, fine. if you're that coworker, keep it to yourself. Yeah. I'd just be making shit up, so you don't know if I'm telling the truth. Of, we we seen, filmed this uh, at midnight. All that, oh, like all the videos and pictures from fucking Hellfest. Yeah, yep. I have crazy fear of missing out right now. You're a FOMO. You're a FOMO. I'm man? a big FOMO when it comes to like that stuff. Uh, Obviously, yeah. I don't have FOMO about like flying to Europe with guitars or whatever. You sure. Know? I had a little bit seeing that outbreak. Stuff yeah, because yeah, we that hurt because that. it was like we were supposed to be playing that, right? It was like we had to drop for a show that Brody wasn't even on. So. Dude, I'm uh I'm Fuck. Oh, that was that was Forbidden Door. Yeah. Uh, by God the way, damn it. Forbidden Door is actually my fucking flight to the UK. <laughs> Dude, I uh I went to that and I got sniffles. Every time I go to a wrestling show, I get sick. Every fucking like now? Time. I got sniffles for sure and like a little <laughs> Don't come near me, man. Send me, wait a few days to send me your video. If you could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that to infect my hard drive. I don't want to, um, I'm not trying to slander any of the, the fests that happen here, but that fest turnout looked bigger than any other hardcore fest in recent memory. Outbreak? Uh, I heard a rumor of 6,500. Oh my God. Which, which uh, uh, but I still think the Have Heart show was more. But that, that doesn't happen every year. But it's not. You can't no, no. compare it, dude. Yeah, yeah. 
that's every hardcore person in the fucking on the continent yeah, going right, for that. Yeah. And this uh, is like that we have it, it, our country is too big to do that. But it, sure, sure, I mean, I'm not trying to take away anything, but you can't compare the country's one festival to we have one of those a week now. And there's yeah, half. You're not wrong. That's but a good still, point. huge feat. Huge fucking feat crazy. Though. Wish we got to play. Couldn't believe it. Wish we we played play. one of the first ones when it was still in Leeds. We did it too. Was, that was when Bolt Thrower got real mad at us. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You want to talk about that? Can I? Probably. Uh, I mean, did they, did they, was there a, a court ruling? No. It never escalated to that. Yeah, never. No. So you haven't agreed to non disclose anything? <clears throat> not, no, not at all. We, they're also not going to see this. Yeah, true. Uh, Although you that, yeah, yeah. You get the rat, the rat listener just right. sending it to him. <laughs> hey, memoriam. Check Carl, I think Carl follows me on Twitter still. So, well, Carl, basically, Carl, I'm like, I might. I was yeah. watching on law. Is your name Tyke? <laughs> I can say, I can say that, like, we did a, we did a harm's way bolt thrower, like, rip. This was at the time, too, when, like, a tribute. It was a tribute for sure. And it, I mean, legitimately it was, it was our fourth yeah. time in Europe. We opened with the fourth crusade. Like it was like in theme, you know? Oh, it's poetic. If anything. It really was. And, um, this was also the time where like ever, like we had a type of everybody was doing yeah, yeah. like everybody and on a no merch one, spread. No there was one at has least stopped. One fucking you had to, that was rip. the one that yeah. sold. Yeah. Straight up. And, uh, they found out about it and emailed us. And uh, asked us to stop selling it and to give all the money that we made to a charity, which we did, which was fine. I mean, really, that's fine. It's kind of a nice way to go about it. It's definitely a nice way to go about it. They could have been much more angry, but it was like a bummer. Like, I remember Saba replied to the email and wrote like a long thing like, hey, we didn't mean anything by this. We really like you, blah, 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 blah. And then at the end, he like, from harm's way, uh, from those still loyal. It's mm-hmm. like how we signed off on the. That's end. a great. It's that's like I would have read that and been like, "Keep the shirt, guys." You Keep know? the shirt, mics. <laughs> and then the the, the, <laughs> the response, the, the response to it was like, "No need to worry about lawyers or anything like that. Just like do what we're asking, and, and like it's fine. So it's fine." But you know, they did that U.S. tour a few years ago, and we didn't open the Chicago show. I know that much. I don't well, think anybody cool opened. Yeah, anywhere. that's they don't know that. Autopsy played no, 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 no. the two California shows. I know who booked the show. Oh. And and I know why we didn't play. Oh, oh you, you it was like a possibility that Fuck those blokes. They are playing me show. I mean maybe. Wow. wow. Didn't hear it from them. How about that? I can say that diplomatically. Well, I heard it from you, who <laughs> the guy who heard it from them. So I'll just assume he said, Fuck them blokes. But that was like like what you guys did that was a time when everyone in harm's way went to a show and like the whole room was just a pit. It was the greatest. So awesome. Top three Taylor. Would you agree? Easily. Of all time. It almost got topped by the candle mass show a couple of years ago. That oh, was really, I mean that, that was extra special cause they used, they had the fucking, they were rocking the twitch and Cug logos on their, on their cabs. Right. Yeah, it was cool. And our amps. Wow. Candle mass playing with the full, Here's the thing, man. First of all, like you didn't even know. I feel like it's a Southern California rite of passage to borrow the Twitching Tongues back line at this point. It happens Every, occasionally. What'd you say? It happens occasionally. Every mom and pop band at this point has played in front of them damn logos. But so that I mean that's fine. But Candle Mass playing in front of them was like a, it felt poetic. Even though it's like us like, yeah, you can use our gear, but still <laughs> Was anybody, that, which singer did they have for that one? They had this dude, Matt's Levin, at the time. He killed it. He might still be in it. I don't know much about that band, aside from the first record and then the second record. Like that's that's like all I really know. You and you and uh, most people. For yeah, sure. for sure. So who is the the fucking robe wearing guy? And what Messiah. happened? To Messiah. He's the Messiah. god. Uh, I think he just kind of retired. He came back at one point and then retired again. He dude, he came back at, for a, like a the the self titled in two thousand five yeah. and mm. God, dang. The rocks. 
I think he lost good. some of his range, and I believe that's why they didn't. He didn't stay, mm-hmm. but it still <laughs> rocks. He had that opera range, though. like that. He had that like uh, that muscle memory type range where you, if you don't use it, you lose it. So and like, and not falsetto either. It's all Fuck full man. on like chest singing. Yeah, that's yeah. gnarly. Crazy, crazy band. Your guys cover. Yeah, uh, the Twitching Tongues cover is so good. Is it at Gallows End? At the Gallows End. At the Gallows that, End. That was a. Uh, Motherfuckers act like they forgot about the tongues, baby. <laughs> we, we put some motherfuckers onto some shit, man. But it's yeah, like- dude. The, the, here's a here's a question. Here's a question. Do you, do you guys fix your chair? <laughs> fix your chair for this one. Dun, 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 dun. Betrayed. Do you do you feel um, responsible in any way for like typo carnivore kind of resurgence into like what people are listening to? It, because before Twitching Tongues and before, like, Saba, I never saw Typo shit, ever. You know what's funny is uh, our second show ever, Saba was backstage ha- taking a nap on the couch while we played and covered Typo. <laughs> and then somebody told him we did it, and he was, like, legit sad. And I was like, who's this fucking loser? Love him now, but at the time I was like, okay. Dickhead. Oh, was that when he was like living in Santa Barbara? He was living in Santa Barbara. This is post Bad Seed. This was like, like, like Saba's like skinny bully era. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. In the in the the like fucking North Face. And, it, and if he didn't know you, it was like the full. You got the full Wilkes Barre treatment, where it was like, fuck you. So I, <laughs> I that was my vibe back, and then I he became like a a family member. Yeah, yeah. a month later. Uh, one time. Yeah, we could tell Saba stories. One time, after a, a, a lengthy like spring tour, he decided to just stay on my couch for the summer. The summer. The summer <laughs> instead of going back because we had a tour in like August or something. Uh-huh. So he's like, oh, I, I won't go home. I'll just like I'll stay in Chicago for a while. Which like on paper that sounds great. What he didn't take into account is like I, me and um, a guy who used to be in harm's way as well. This guy John Hofacker. He. Taylor, you met him, right? You met Hofacker. Yeah. Yeah. So I lived with John for a long time and we lived in like an old building where like the living room, the couch, there's no AC. So he's sleeping on like a fake leather couch. Oh. Sweating, brother. Leaking. And he didn't have a job. He didn't have any money. He had a roll. <laughs> he had a roll of paid stickers. Would go to the Target that was right by... Oh my God. Where I lived, grab like bagels and avocado and like milk or something and put paid on it and just walk out. The paid sticker was a great era. Like, like multiple times a week at the same place and never got caught. And that's wow. how he survived straight up. What a legend. <laughs> legend, brutal. legend of like the worst things that you love me from Tabor. I haven't seen him in a long time. He wrote, um, I don't want to say the name of that demo that he did before he joined Nails, but he wrote that in, in that apartment over that summer. Oh, wow. And it, I think one of the riffs ended up on that the last song. on. We used a couple life. parts. Yeah. I remember him like, what do you think of this? <laughs> Just like playing. Mm-hmm. What was the yeah, riff? Yeah, the, the structures was, were chaotic. The it's, dun, dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. A good one. And then we he came here at one point and we finished that song. That makes sense. What's that song called? Some that Zoom Zoom Zoom? Zoom? Yeah. Some I mean, no no one ever said it correctly. How do you some, say it? Some cocks. I don't I don't know. I said I see I say some sweet, but it's probably wrong because it's not <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> Taylor, do you do you know how much I love that record? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. That Abandon All Life is genuinely one of my favorite records, like of all time. Nice. It's a it's a double it's a double <laughs> listener. It's like uh it's like yeah, because it's seventeen acid, minutes like, long. Like Misery Index. Like you just start it over. Mm. Wow. That's how that record is for me. I like it too. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I think it's my worst drumming. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, because we um got home. I got home from a Twitching Tongues tour practice for two weeks and then we left for recording 
So I just didn't have the stamina. Oh, right. Wow. I think Absolute mm-hmm. Control, the 45-second song, is split in like four punches. Oh, and only wow. you know that. Yeah. So is you, that, uh, you, you is, hear that and you don't hear what we hear. Is yeah, that... Yeah. 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 So you just hear, I punched in there. I punched mm. in there. Mm. Fuck, I punched in there. That's not I don't. I don't know where the punches are because Kurt did it, but it, I did not play that song in one seamless take. I can't mm. believe you're sharing that. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, I don't give a fuck. I mean, Cannibal, Cannibal, the Switching Tongue song on Disharmony is. So I had to play drums because Mike wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> Neither was Kale. We found out. <laughs> but uh, yeah. that that was like Punch City. That really? one. And I think I think we got we got to get to get like twice and just used it every time, right? Uh, there's more than that, but it's it's pretty splicey. All right, three times. There's some there's some I spider webs in there. Three times. <laughs> so Taylor, what's your favorite thing right now? <laughs> Primus. Just, what? Primus. 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 You're back on Primus. I am so well because I did uh, the MS Paint record. Uh huh. They are a bass-driven band. I was like, man, this makes me want to listen to Primus, and I just haven't stopped. <laughs> I haven't stopped. That's crazy. This I was like love Primus. when we were growing up as young lads. Taylor and I shared a bedroom. This is some. These are some stories I could tell. I got thousands of these. First of all, in mi- in in middle school, but oh, this is pre- well pre middle school was when Taylor was in the Primus. I was probably what eight. You were twelve. As a Primus fan, right? I've never not been into Primus, but that was when I was like, when you got in, you discovered. were like a Primus guy. Yeah. So I I I grew up to the sound to the like the sweet sounds of <laughs> like playing with a fucking ball. Yeah. And just <laughs> about hearing about Winona's big brown beaver. Um but you when I was even, in you didn't school, even get it, man. I got it eventually. I get it. I got it. But uh <laughs> I get it. I got it. I I was I had to Taylor and I shared a room perpetually until I was like what sixteen. So uh, the house I'm in right now. Yeah. Till we moved. Wow, there. Really? Yeah, yeah. We shared a room like forever. So we were mortal enemies. Essentially, <laughs> I I go play with your I, toys in the corner. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> so I slept in a closet in our room. For like a year. You didn't sleep just, in there. You fell asleep in there. No, I slept. I chose to sleep no. in there because it was where the my the one place I could be. You just kept the wrestling safe. ring in there. So you, all your wrestlers were in there and you were battling and you fell asleep. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I put on incredible matches in there. <laughs> I'm sure they're better than Vince McMahon's at the time. Absolutely. But also it was my one safe place. So that's where I slept. Also. So we had uh we had an Xbox, we had a PS2 in there that mm. I was Taylor was like, you don't even understand how long Taylor's been on this music production shit. Mm. He was he was tracking his own love songs and stuff way long ago, and I wasn't allowed to play video games with the sound on. Because wow. I was busy playing other mosh parts and just writing songs in one shot and not caring what it sounded like. Yeah. That well, I mean, but you my line six that. spider. That, <laughs> so that, like in in like middle school, you were writing heavy songs. Yeah. Oh, dude. Wow. You got the breaking perfection record, right? So can I play it on air? Yeah, but that's not that. I didn't write any of that. Yeah, I well, just played drums. What, I just played drums say. in that. <laughs> I am wearing a Grimlock shirt in the uh, promo photo. Nobody can take that from you. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can take that. That's crazy. I didn't get into heavy music until I was probably, aside from like Slayer and Metallica, kind of heavy, but like actual heavy music until I was probably in my early 20s. It was Marauder. Early 20s? Yeah, dude. I, we were youth crew kids oh, only. But you were into a, a, a kind Aggre- of aggressive, aggressive music. Oh, yeah, music. aggressive music for sure, for sure. But like, like, hate, like, I didn't listen. I thought hate breed was like jock shit. You're one of those. Yeah, I was. I it was, is jock shit. It's dope. Of, but you know, obviously, I mean that in, in the negative connotation kind of way. But like, yeah, I was all punk, all youth crew. It's funny to think about like James 
like winning like a triathlon probably and like, I don't like that jock like shit 450 and being like this fucking jock shit bro dude uh, I, his nickname for years and and probably still is in a lot of people's phone is youth crew james that was his i think on the first i think maybe on the harm's way demo it says vocals ycj because hmm. we'll like, see what demo, it is in mine what'd you say i'm gonna see what his name is in mine I'll tell you what it is in mine. Oh, James, damn, it's just James Pligu. McPligu. Hammers McPligu. Hammers Mc, Mc, McPligu. I was Dude, hoping that, it was Pligu, but it's, it wasn't. I'm disappointed in myself. I want to tell that story, but I, we got to wait for Chris and James to be honest. You're saving it for them. McPligu. Yeah. Taylor, what? Um, <laughs> you like touring with Bo? <laughs> yeah, you two are the people I've toured with probably the most. Hmm. Like, I mean, Bo, maybe for as term like in terms of people you aren't in the band. Well, 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 you or Bo for sure. He didn't play for Armsway, yeah. Who what was that you did. Yeah, yeah. Europe. It was awesome. No way yeah. for Arms Way. We talked we talked about the um the show where it was like in Austria or something. And like Leo was moshing really hard, which is hilarious to begin with, because I don't think he's moshed since. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and like some your Austrian Austrian guy was trying to beat him up and you were on stage still playing going come here come here yeah he didn't he didn't uh he, he didn't, didn't want any it. smoke Salzburg Austria wow good memory yeah um was that what it was i don't remember what set that off it, it was there, it was leo Maschin. there was like uh, i just remember his the the light leaving the kid's eyes and he was like okay now. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. I'll, I'll never forget. Just riffing. Yeah, but I've never seen it since. I've never seen him do that. I was playing Harm's Way riffs. I know. I was ready to go. <laughs> oh. Man, I know. Man, I know. Man, get over here. That's right. I know that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bo, do you remember? And I remember uh, you were real mad at me for this. Oh. This is, we're gonna we're gonna talk. We're gonna share a sensitive story. It's not sensitive to me. Okay. But when well. what? How do I bring this up politely? Well, you were mad at me at the time. I can't even begin to. When Amongst the Rust came out, I was not credited on the song at all. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. So I I can assure you that was not related to me being angry with you because I have nothing to do with that. Well, here I just got really loud for a second. He was. So (laughs) I'm glad we have a witness. Sure. Um, I I remember you were mad at me for a second because the write up. For like when the single went up was just like new new harm's way song check it out like not from you from like all the publications and like i sing the chorus of the song you know that's the part that people go yeah and it was like it was as if i didn't exist and i remember you were like it's a harm's way song and i was like oh, i know but and i don't know i i said that you did i don't know and yeah it's just it's just I, it, I listened to it the other day. Yeah, I actually Googled the words when you were playing here because I was hoping you were playing it because I oh, love yeah, the song. Yeah. But yeah. I remember very vividly, and I think I I thought it was a I thought it was Death Wish trying to diss me. Was that Death Wish, Russ? It it yeah, that was Death Wish. The it would have been either Aaron who did like the post human art and Rust art. Mm. It would have been Aaron or Chris. You credited me in the in the thing. Oh, in but not the on the right. Notes. Oh, okay. In okay. the liner notes, I was in there, but in like, like the day the single went up, no, it, like featuring Kyle. no peep. And so it was just like, who is this guy singing the song? It was me and the boy. Shut like, the fuck up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot all about that, so I don't think I was mad. Mad. Average Farms remembers. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You know. I love can't, the song. Can't change for having. Can't go it. back and change yeah. it. What did you say, Taylor? Can't change time. Yeah. Uh, Happen to happen. So. Get over it. <laughs> Maybe the Roadcaster Pro 3 will have a time machine. It's a time machine. I don't know what else they can do with this thing. <laughs> so, Taylor, what's it like being a married guy now? It's cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's We're just gonna have, I'm just going to pipe you not, in on every episode. For it's now not much that. different. Um uh, then living together, having a dog, and all the other stuff that we were already doing. Yeah. Just, just the worst All it stuff. is is I have a ring. I have a mm-hmm. ring I wear. 
That's annoying true. when I go to sleep. Sometimes I take it off, but then I forget to put it back on for days. Mm. Absolutely riveting content from you yes. right here. <laughs> yeah, that was your stupid ass question. So shut no, the hell that up. was a great question. I expected you to be like this one time. Me and my wife were swimming, and how long have you been in that house? Since two thousand six. That's when I graduated high school. That's when I graduated high school. Oh well, look at that. So we, yeah, we moved in as a family. Oh, I and forgot. Dad, dad moved on. People He's moved out one by one. Gotcha. True. Um. How many, how many, like, you can kind of see it on Taylor's wall there, everyone. He has done so many bands from all over, but so many Californian bands. Mm. Do you have, yeah, do you have an estimation of how many records you've done? Records? Like, released albums? Released, yeah, whatever. If we we throw demos in there, I would literally never be able to count because there's some things that I did in one day, mixed it the next day, sent it off for mastering, and then it got released somewhere, and then 10 people heard it and nobody else heard it. It was was in the wind. Mm -hmm. There's probably 100 of those. So if, Mm -hmm. like, 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 seven inches in albums, I don't know, maybe two... Uh, Give me a rough. What top five off the top of your head? Yeah, that's a good question. Just like records that the pit has done that you're most like proud of. You feel the most. That I didn't play on. Mm, Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But that I played on. (laughs) What? (laughs) I really do like the uh, Faith Alone. I like, I'm really proud of how that one sounds. That one, like, that was your test thing for the new board. Mm. It's right and here. You can't see it. Yeah, it was right it's there. Right and here. we were we were just rock solid, ready to go. So that that really worked out. Yeah, that was it was a good test. Um, I but guess that's so. not top five all time. I'm not no, not necessarily never. like the th- the five things you think sound the best because you're gonna you're gonna. That's how I would gauge it, though. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't gauge it by how good the the music is. I would be, for me, it's like I'm a producer in the sense that I produce the sounds. Mm. Mm. I don't really sit there and tweak songs that much. I mean, but if they, Some, they sometimes I do. you gotta ask for that, you know? Yeah, well, or you know, there's a general understanding before. Like, there's definitely been thirty records where I've contributed things, but it's not like the normal thing. Normally, I'm just shaping. How it sounds. Yeah. I think um, about that a lot with your job is mm-hmm. that most people come in who play guitar and really don't know how to make an amp sound good. Yeah. But I think that's pretty normal. That's Just what because I'm they also have not used as many tools before. So it's, it's like if I just throw a pedal at somebody that they don't know how to use, they may not begin to, to know how to set it up. Um, but I just, understand things and that's my job uh i would say uh top five ever i'm pretty psyched on about four of these what are these we have, what do we got? i have uh i have a uh, momentum self-titled i really <laughs> like how that sounds <clears throat> uh regional justice center crime and punishment i really like how that sounds you meant monuments right monuments monuments yeah. self-titled momentary i don't remember which one he said uh, Dead Heat, World at War. That's probably that's up there. I'm just doing this because these are in front of me, and you're giving me a question that's fucking loaded. <laughs> Unload it. Uh, <laughs> Section Hate, pretty dope. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we got Military Gun, pretty dope. I, I like how all those sound. God's Hate over here. But you know what's funny is on the wall right now, to your right, there's a secret piece of artwork that you probably hope that people don't see. What? The skinhead one? No. I don't know what the fuck. The you're painting about. there, brother. Nobody's seen oh, that. Oh yeah, I can't talk about that, but that's de- that's ter- currently top three for sure. That's got to be top one. But we'll talk about that. It might be top. Time. I mean, yeah, it's every time I every time I put it on, it's top one. But but I've already grown. So then. Yeah, you have. You got you got tracks or what? We got. Tra- what do you mean? You got more. <laughs> you got more written for that. 
No, I just meant I've already grown. I've already done better sounding records. You think that was, so? that was done last year. It's true. That was a year, full year ago. Yeah. That, but cannot disclose yet. No. Very soon. soon, though. Soon. Very Drain. soon. Drain. Drain sounds good. I like that one. I'm at <laughs> six now. Wow. I over answered the question for once. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Can't get this the, guy to shut up. What do you yeah. What have you been eating lately? Uh, today I had a chicken salad sandwich that my that my <sighs> wife made God. me. Oh, you're sick. She made it. Couldn't. Fuck it was me. good. You're sick. I also had Ralph sushi for oh, breakfast. Yeah. For br- what time? Uh, ten. It was ten. Wait, ten gro- is- grocery store sushi. Yes, the, the Ralph sushi is really good. Well, I guess if you're on the coast, sushi is like. It can be good from those places. There was like two chewy pieces that I did not continue to eat. Yeah. Um, but I, but that was from a different thing I got. The Ralph's, so the, there's a Sherman Oaks Ralph where all the moms go. They got the best sushi. It's just all, they. it's good. It's legit good. I agree. Uh, when I was recording uh, Hazing Over from Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago, they went every day and got Ralph's sushi. Really? Every day. Pittsburgh sushi must fucking Because, <laughs> like, oh, you can get sushi yeah. at the lo- at the grocery store that I go to, but I wouldn't. Whole food yeah. sushi? That's fucking... That's top. different, yeah. You know, that was... I worked. I was a fishmonger at Whole Foods. What the fuck does that mean? I've sold fish and butchered fish for a year. You fish did. mongrel? Fish monger. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Did you ever, you know... <laughs> Dude, I just watched the boys, like that episode where the the lady puts her hands in the guy's gills. Oh. You, just, you just ignored the question. Did you ever? What? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what the question is. Probably deal? not. You stole it. Okay. You never did it with the fish. No. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's really gross. Damn it, baby, no, I'm only gonna tell you one time. Ah! That's the bow fucked a fish sound. A fish. <laughs> it's elaborate. I did not fuck a fish. Okay. That's what guys who fuck fish. You want to know first day? <laughs> my first day uh, behind the thing, I had to. As a monger? As a monger, I had to stake out a catfish. Okay. So, like, when you stake something, you just like chop it as it's whole, mm-hmm. and then there are little stakes. Catfish have this barb on the back of their thing so that if something grabs them from behind, the barb goes up and they don't get swallowed. And the first thing you do when you're staking is you put the knife down, slam it, and you cut off the head mm. behind the gill plate. And I did that, and I had a cut glove on because you had to, and they had these, like, industrial sharpened knives that were fucking, like, once a week, these things would be so insanely sharp. So I put it down, and as I went to do it, it rolled the barb went straight up and it went through the glove and through oh, my hand. And really? It was, it, yeah, but it, it would like, it was like, it didn't go through the top layer, but you could like see it through it, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it got infected because it was a dirty catfish. And uh, that was my first day. Day one. Day, fucking, one. Uh, day one, you got workers' comp or what? 10 bucks an hour, no health insurance, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck Whole Foods. Um, Taylor should have been we, more careful. Taylor, we we need a, a clip for the show because it's been really boring so far. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try a word association game with you. Okay. Okay. I'm That's gonna say fine. a bunch of words. You say the first word that comes to mind. Fine. McDonald's. Delicious. Colin. I couldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Today, thank you so much. Uh, that you've been watching Hard Lore. This was Taylor Young's first episode. Are first we done? And last. Yeah. Been an hour. Taylor, uh, top three Roadrunner releases. Uh, man, what? what I, that's just not enough. <laughs> Five. Okay, I'm not gonna do this in order. No, no, no. Yeah, order is bullshit. Uh, let's do. We're gonna do Sepulter, Arise, and Chaos AD. Love it. Boom. Combo. There's two. Uh, Machine Head, Burn My Eyes for show. Mm-hmm. I guess three was enough. 
<laughs> wow. Honestly, I, I well, I'd have to like look at a list. I don't. Fuck, I, oh, here we go. Suffocation, pierce from within. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we'll just go. We'll go obituary cause of death. Really? No typo. No typo. Oh, see, and that's why I need a list. Yeah. King Diamond. All too. right, well, let's do let's do typo instead of um, obituary. We'll do. But now, which one do I do? Which one do you do? I did. Somebody asked me this question the other day. Oh. And I said world coming down, so I'm going to go with that. Interesting. You know, yeah. yeah th- think about the way I gauge that is if I'm sitting down, I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling like a little music. Like I might listen to a little music. <laughs> which one am I putting on? Right. That's mm. how I know. But it's different depending on the mood because Definitely. their discography is so different so wide and different if i'm driving or something if i'm doing something it's slow deep and hard yeah yeah turn them on, turn them on. that's it's i i cycle the most between lately i've been in the past like two years or so been a big life is killing me guy really i would say five years past me I yeah i just i don't think you've gotten off of it in a long time. Dude, That's I remember good. on the good, European man. tour that you were like, I was like, really? It's good? I've never really listened to it. And you it's were really like, just because anesthesia is so good. That's lyrics, man. As a song. Mm-hmm. Agreed. The, I mean, the whole second half, starting with like, uh, fucking Netty, this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't okay. do his, uh, that, uh, that, I mean, Netty, the whole second half is just insane. Life is killing me is a great song, but I feel like that's the one that's the one people listen to, and then they turn the record off. Mm. Well, so most I don't want to get me. to it. Is that the, the song? Is, is that sorry? That's, that's what I'm. Th- that's what I'm yeah. thinking of. Yeah. yeah. I don't want right. to be. I don't want to be. Man. Which is a James great song. Dad and then, loves and then, that song. He just hates himself, or what? He just thinks it's a good song. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, I really fucking relate to this sometimes. <laughs> Sketchy. Sorry, right. sorry, James. I didn't mean it. No. Uh, I guess I mean I guess that's the episode, right? Yeah. You got any closing remarks, Taylor? Did you have a good time? Well, no. I would say plan this better <laughs> next time. This is oh, great. This is no. This is operator error, bro. Yeah, which, that's uh, right. Your what's error. Your, what's your favorite um, tour-related hardcore podcast, Taylor? <laughs> but this is the only podcast I listen to you in the world. You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Number but one. I, well, I actually enjoy watching it because everybody that's on has been somewhat of a friend, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's kind of just like for, I'm gonna, I'm going to enjoy this more than anybody. Yeah, this yeah. Is, this podcast is literally for me. It's made we're for chill, you. are just we're chilling with the homies and talking. And the, right? the visuals, I think, are. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's the What's the background gonna be next, Bo? Oh, it's you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be it's that never that Bo sent me of him fucking a fish from Whole Foods. So we'll get that one up. Fuck. Nice. Bo BFF. Bo your uh, your <laughs> <laughs> your podcast room looks bigger on this on the screen, Colin. Mine? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? It's really a really a small room. This room? Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. It looks fucking massive. Bro. It looks big on the screen. But you you couldn't cartwheel in here, actually. Uh, neither neither could you. The, the wall's right here. Oh whoa! Yeah, well, then why do you do that? Huh? Is Colin gonna cartwheel in the small room? He, he's, he's Colin. Con- what what is he gonna break? He's convinced we're not gonna get any views on this one. That's gonna happen. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, where is it? I did it. Don't. Oh, fuck. Do it again. Nobody saw. You'll have to watch the tape, Bo. Thank you guys so much (laughs) for watching Hard Lord today. Bo fucks fish. We will see you next time. (laughs)